Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the six. Okay, so we're just gonna see what comes up. What do we have for around the six? Five of Wands. Five of Wands is conflict. There's some sort of conflict. We have somebody here that is struggling. They are struggling. They're struggling with uh, letting go of something. Maybe they, they're, they're trying to uh, prove something. King of Cups reverse. Unable to master emotions. We have somebody here that is struggling with their heart, struggling with their feelings, struggling with their emotions. There's a lot of inner conflict. Three of Pentacles reversed. There's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of respect for, for others. Somebody's dealing with somebody that doesn't respect them, that they are not on the same page with. There's no love. There's no emotional fulfillment. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of mind games. There's a lack of communication, there's emotional withdrawal, there's emotional turmoil here. We have somebody here that is really in their feelings. They are uh, struggling with working with others. They're, they're not working well with others right now. They're, they're in a mind, they're in a state of conflict. Queen of Cups reverse. This has to do with a partnership. These two people do not see eye to eye. They're not on the same page. There could be a third party situation here. Um, there's a lack of love. There's a lack of mutual respect. There's uh, probably not a whole lot of communication going on. If there is, it's conflict. There's pettiness. There's petty behavior. There's it's that tug of war where I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna compromise and I'm not gonna compromise so it's causing a lot of tension so it's, it's there's a lot of tension here there's there's no love flowing okay there's no love there's emotions all over the place there could be some some emotional outbursts or some miscommunications or definite power struggles between this couple these two people that are not working well together at all Nine of Wands reverse. That's extremely challenging. Somebody is, is dealing with some challenges right now. Um, maybe there could be a third party situation here. That could be part of it with the Three of Pentacles. That in the Five of Wands is competition. So there could be, there's definitely a competition. These two people are competing with each other. They are competing with each other. Um, there's a creative block as well. I feel like we have these two people that really are unwilling to give up their position as of who the winner is. That's the biggest power struggle here. Um, Nine of Wands reversed. It is uh, extremely challenging, very conceited, sitting on a high horse, unwilling to give in. Both these people don't want to give in, so that's what's causing the tension. Four of Wands reverse is probably going to be a separation. This is not fun anymore. It's very messy. Um, there's a lack of commitment. This is not happiness. Uh, we have a foundation here where it's, it's this party is over. It's not fun anymore. This, this commitment is very challenging. Um, there's a lot of petty behavior. There's, there's no... Uh, teamwork in this partnership. These two people don't see eye to eye together at all. Uh, four, of, four of wands reversed. It could be a separation. Um, there's definitely no happiness here. These people, they don't, it's like there's a lack of love. King of Cups reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. That's a lack of love. There's also an emotional upset here. This is upsetting. 
It is upsetting. We have, there's like no commitment. There's no commitment. This is a very challenging commitment. It's a very challenging situation where there, there's, there's a lack of communication. There's no compromise, right? There's no compromise and both people want to win and then nobody's willing to let it go or whatever, then that's a problem. Four of Wands reverse. That's no commitment, no happiness. This isn't, this isn't fun. Ace of Cups reversed. So this is like shutting down emotionally. This is shutting down emotionally. It's a loss of love. It's a lack of emotional contentment. It is sad. It's tears. Uh, it's very emotional. Having a very hard time mas mastering emotions. It's going to be an emotional day. Somebody may be giving up on the commitment or the lack of, there ain't no commitment by the looks of things. They're just giving up. They're giving up on it. There's, there's, they're giving up. They're not going to be putting in any more effort into it because there's too much tension. There's too much conflict. There's too much competition. There's no love here. Why are you going to, why, why put in effort into something where there's no love? I mean, that's not even logical and there ain't no logic here. There ain't. It's all about emotion. Somebody's really codependent, you know. Temperance. Temperance is a card of change. It is. It comes after the death card. So it's a card of allowing and accepting. Accepting and allowing that change is needed. Going with the flow. Uh, allowing something to happen somebody is going to be allowing something to happen they're going to be blending okay they're going to be doing whatever they have to do to create harmony accepting and ending death comes before the temperance card so i feel like there's an ending here because it's right over the four of wands which in reverse which is the commitment that is not okay it's no commitment this is like accepting that there's no commitment here accepting that there's no love and and uh, allowing, going with the flow, finding some sort of ability to restrain and accept, restrain. Somebody needs to restrain themselves. They need to basically understand that everything happens for a reason and there's something better but anyhow um giving up is underneath it with the nine of wands reverse it's giving up and patiently waiting for something better i'm gonna you know that's about patience. It's about patiently waiting. I'm going to I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight anymore. I'm going to wait for something better. Six of cups. Eight of pentacles reversed underneath the ace eight of pentacles. I mean eight of pentacles reversed underneath the ace of cups. Letting it go, letting the somebody's gonna be letting some tears out as well. They are, they are, they're gonna be letting. Just I, I said that already. There, there's tears gonna be flowing. Not going to invest in the past anymore. Eight of Pentacles reversed next to the Six of Cups. Not investing. It's not working out. It's not working out. Accepting that it's not working out. I feel like there's some sort of reminiscing. There's reminiscing, you know, uh, about love, about what love is supposed to be. Thinking about love, thinking about past love, maybe hoping for a reunion. Somebody may be hoping, they, maybe they've been hoping for a reunion with somebody from the past. Could be a past life connection here. Maybe they're in a loveless situation with somebody that, you know... Is not working out because it's not meant to be. I feel like we have a 
with the Eight of Pentacles reversed next to the Four of Wands reversed, this isn't working out. Somebody's not putting in any effort. And maybe they're not putting in any effort because they're in love with somebody from their past or, you know, something like that. Or they want something better. Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is a dead end. This is unrealistic. It's dissatisfied. There's no growth here. This is your dead end. It is a dead end. So this is giving up. Giving up. Somebody is giving up. They are giving up on a connection that uh, is dead. Right? There's no growth here. There is no growth. It's not working out. They can't do it anymore. There's no... There's, they're, 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 they're giving up. If there's no growth. It's time to go someplace else where there's, where there's, uh, balance, where there's balance, where there will be blending, doing whatever I have to do to have peace and harmony in my life. So somebody is, is making a change. They are making a change and I feel like they're going to be making a change because I don't know. It feels like there's some sort of emotions that are all over the place. It's like there's, there's, there is. It does. I mean, the King of Cups reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. This is emotions all over the place. This isn't working out. And the Ace of Cups reverse. This isn't working out. This is emotional, like drowning in emotions. There's probably definitely going to be some tear shed because I feel like there's going to be a separation because. This is realizing that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose and there's something better. That's what temperance is. It's exchanging something lesser for something better. You know, part of the meaning of the card is accepting that something is over because the death card comes before it. You know, instead of fighting all the time and playing that tug of war and living in the tension and uh, dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you, you know, it's better to accept that it's over and have peace and harmony in your life and not try to water a dead tree, you know? So this is about acceptance. The middle card now is the temperance card. It's about accepting that, you know, this isn't love. It's definitely not. I want something better. I want something more. Knight of Swords. This is a sudden departure, perhaps. Could also be a sudden arrival. This is putting plans in action, taking action. Okay? This is very sudden. This may be a shock. It could be a sudden change. Sudden arrival, sudden departure, something, somebody's doing something like right now. It's like, I gotta go, I gotta go do this right now. I gotta go do this right now. Coming forward with some sort of truth. Somebody is, is rushing. They're either rushing out of a partnership that uh, is loveless. Okay, there's no love there. Or they're headed in a, well, they're headed into new territory, obviously. They're headed away from a dead end, because I put that right next to the Seven of Pentacles reverse. They're headed out. They're headed out of this dead end situation. They're going towards something better. This is, this is somebody that has no fear, that is in a hurry, okay? They have no fear. They've, they've, they've been held back by their, what have they been held back by? Their power struggle. They're, they're, they're not wanting to give in. Their control, they're, they're wanting to be in control. You know, that's what they were held back by. I feel like this person did everything in their power to make something work. But if it's not love, it's not love. You can't force somebody to love you. Anyhow, I do believe we have somebody here that is making a, de a departure. Okay, they're departing. They're departing very, very suddenly from a situation that is not growing. It's not working out. They could be headed towards somebody that they have a soulmate connection with because of that six of cups. I wonder if there's a soulmate connection here. Something, somebody that they are better matched up with. Um, I do feel like there is going to be somebody that is taking uh, swift action going in a new direction. Strength, finding the courage, being brave, finding you know, their self-discipline to take control. Somebody is definitely taking, there is a soulmate connection here. 
somebody is headed towards a soulmate. They are headed towards somebody that, uh, that may have come into their life unexpectedly. Because this is an unexpected choice in love. They're headed right towards a soulmate. This takes courage, a lot of courage. This is making a choice in regards to love. This is this is two people coming together that are meant to be together, but it comes after a acceptance that this isn't love in a current commitment that somebody has been committed to. Somebody has been fighting their feelings. Investing in a dead end. Where there's no love. But they're finding their courage. They are. They are. This is somebody that is, is really <sighs> getting the hell out of there. <coughs> And everything happens for a reason. The temperance card is a card of reason, and this is a card of choice. This is this is the lovers, right? This is a, an unexpected choice in love. A healing love. I feel like we have a soulmate reunion here as well. Two people are coming together that are meant to be together. And I feel like it's suddenly, but it's after a separation. Making a choice in regards to a deep connection. Choosing to take charge and go in that direction and stop investing in a loveless situation where there ain't no love. All done. Given up. Somebody is deepening a bond with somebody as well. They are deepening a bond. They are. This ain't working out. Relocating. Going towards something more in alignment. Finding the courage and the confidence and the strength to do so. Brave. Doing something bold. Doing some being brave. Brave, even leaving behind the money. It's like, I don't care about the money. Keep the money. And there's been a lot of fighting over money. Connecting with a soulmate. Somebody is going to be deepening a bond with a soulmate. They are. It may be somebody from the past. Somebody that, maybe it's a past life situation this is a this is a strong connection choosing to go next to the knight of swords choosing to go towards this love connection good luck <laughs> 